What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Gene back to another this video. And today we're going to talk about Scotty Barnes and why he can she win an MVP award this season. As for Scotty Barnes, why he can she win an MVP award soon is for players' records he broke, like Kevin Durant and Shaquille O'Neal, as their MVPs, but they broke this record in their rookie years. But honestly, Scotty Barnes just has a great hidden commodity as he's a great NBA talent as he's a good addition to rappers on the floor. As for Scotty, he's really emerging as a player as for his rookie campaign which he had with the Raptors is crazy. As for Scotty, he's shown he can do many things on the court like he can pass, he can play, he can facilitate for a team, he can do many things like many others on the court as for superstars in the NBA. But I think Scotty he's shown he can be a good and hot MVP commodity. As for playing the Raptors, I think he can be a next coming for a superstar like Kawhi Leonard as he left in 2019. After Scott, I talk about the first record he broke, which is win shares. I wouldn't really say it's a record, but it's the high stat in which he got, so let's talk about this. If you guys don't know what win shares is, it's a player stat which aims to divide up a credit for a team's success to the individuals on their team. Usually a rookie's first year average for win shares is about 0.5, and it's really rare for a rookie to impact a win. So here's where Scotty Barnes stands, as you see here. Below are the first rookie year's win shares for players like Stephen Curry, Luka Doncic, LeBron James, and Kawhi Leonard. Stephen Curry, you have him at 4.7. Luka Doncic, you have him at 4.9. You have LeBron James at 5.1. And you have Kawhi Leonard at 5.5. Scotty Barnes' average for win shares is about 6.5, which is truly high for a rookie. Only two players have done this between Michael Jordan and Larry Bird. To put more perspective into this, players like and rookies like Jalen Suggs and Aaron Mobley is negative 1.6 for Jalen Suggs and 5 for Aaron Mobley. Just think about that. As we all know here, Scotty Barnes is a star and his potential is unnoticed. But Scotty Barnes has done a lot for the Raptors as he's just been a great addition to the team and been great success for the roster. Another stat Scotty Barnes has broken was a blowout victory the Raptors had against Brooklyn Nets back in March, I think it was. Barnes had a career high of 28 points, 16 rebounds, 5 steals, 4 assists, and 1 block shot in 34 minutes of play as for the Raptors 133 to 97 win with the Brooklyn Nets. He came out on fire, making his first 11 attempts in the field and finished 12 14 overall. This fourth overall pick, Scotty Barnes, was the first rookie to get his record of 25 points and 15 rebounds and 5 steals in the game, and the first player to do it for Shaquille O'Neal back in 1992 to the 1993 season. This says for his record he broke like Shaq. This means he can do many other things on the court. He can rebound, he can shoot, and he can facilitate for his teammates and be disruptive on the defensive end. That's said a lot for Scotty Barnes and his potential on the court. As for a neck of the award he broke, Scotty Barnes is the first rookie since Luka Doncic and only a 22nd rookie in NBA history to average over 15.7 rebounds and 3 assists in a season. Every rookie to achieve that stat over 10 seasons has never won rookie of the year, as is from Stat Moose, as I saw it on their Twitter page. As for Scotty, only 20 and he got many of the Rookie of the Month honors in March and February. He is also selected to participate in the Ryan Stars game without a given, and Barnes has improved the Raptors to a 48 and 35 record this season as that game in the fifth record in the Eastern Conference. As for Scotty Barnes, another career high he had was against the likes of LeBron James, where he got 31 points and 17 rebounds to go to 6 steals against the Angeles Lakers as this is in March. On March 18th, Barnes posted a career high of 31 points, 17 rebounds to go with his sixth assist against the Los Angeles Lakers and becoming the first rookie to score 30 points and 15 rebounds and 5 assists in a game since Blake Griffin in March 2011. But many players that have won this award have done many damage in their rookie seasons, like Kevin Durant, Derrick Rose, Kyrie Irving, almost you could say Luka Doncic won the MVP soon, and Andrew Wiggins and many others. Like this stat says it all. But also, as the Raptors lost their Brooklyn Nets afterwards, as they think this is probably a, a game in the later days, Scotty Barnes was the Raptors' most recent rookie and the past Tracy McGrady and the youngest player in franchise history to record at least 20 points, 10 rebounds, and 5 assists in a game at the age of 20 and 136 years old. And McGrady has formally held his record for a standing of 20 years and 316 days in age. As for Scotty Barnes, we all know he's the third in scoring for rookies, and I think he could possibly get to about a second, but I think the Raptors don't really need him to do much on the court, but I think Scotty Barnes, his impact on the court says really a lot. But Scotty Barnes, as he's known the hot commodity in the court, he doesn't really do much for the Raptors, but I think he can block him and grow as a player. I think he can be a good and great MVP candidate as they lost their superstar in Kawhi Leonard. I think Scotty Barnes can truly take that role on and take it to a higher degree. But Scotty Barnes, he's had a lot to grow, but I think with his player comparisons being Matty Johnson and Luka Doncic, I think he can cause a lot of damage on the court with players in the league that are going to 
drop off and superstar them like players like Kevin Durant and LeBron James that are closer to retirement. But I think Scotty Barnes is the coming of the NBA and can be a problem for many years to come. But for Scotty Barnes, he averaged 15 points on 30% shooting and about 40 to 50% shooting from the field. I think got about four assists and about seven to six rebounds in the game. So that's a lot for a player of that commodity. But that's why I think Clyde Bond could potentially win the MVP award soon. And I just wanted to keep this video short and to the point. If you are new, hit a like button, comment, subscribe, and let me know if you want more videos like this. I love making these videos as for the Raptors. There's many more room for them to grow. As for Clyde Bond could potentially be an MVP candidate. As for a good comments like Kevin Durant, Shaquille O'Neal, Kobe Bryant, and many more. Do you think Scotty Barnes can be potentially the next great like Kobe Bryant, Kevin Durant, and LeBron James and many others? Let me know your thoughts on this video and your boy Demi. I'm signing out. Peace.